This was once a granite and sand quarry on the west side of Joburg. Quite a transformation, huh? The resident pro at Eagle Canyon has been transformed himself with a Sunshine Tour win in Zambia. It's been quite amazing. Came back a little bit later than what I wanted to. Uh, made a little bit of a mess with the, uh, the booking of my flights. But uh, yeah, it's been quite good. It's been quite amazing being back at home, sharing everything with my friend. It was an amazing week. We stayed with friends of ours there. So it was, it was quite fun having a braai every evening, getting quite a bit of time to really relax and everything. It was a lot of fun. Rikas Nokia is the Mapani Red Path Zambia Open champion. He's also been winner four times on the Big Easy Tour, but things haven't always been plain sailing. Took a little bit of a break beginning of last year. I lost my card on tour a couple of years ago. I went back to Q school a year later. I couldn't, couldn't pull it through, so I decided to actually quit golf. I started working and you know, a couple of months later I started playing again. I was in a bad space with my golf, really playing badly, still loved golf. It's just I had to try something new, I had to try this, something different. At that stage I felt I tried everything, nothing worked, so only option left was to, to quit. Coaching at the Berman Dutois Golf Academy at Eagle Canyon gave him some distance from competition and a new appreciation of the game gave me a lot of perspective, not just in the sense of technique, but how the game works mentally. Everything has changed around quite a bit. Uh, I mean, going into the final round last year at the Big Easy, um, Hendrik helped me quite a bit. He knew exactly what to say at what time. He'd had three wins back in 2012, but then came a barren spell. The victory he's talking about came up the raw at Vartacliff in June last year. At that time, I don't think I really realized what it meant for me. I thought it was a great win and everything. Uh, I thought it was gonna open a couple doors, but I didn't think it was it was gonna change my life the way it has. Uh, everything's just uh, completely turned around from that point. At the time, he spoke of getting on with his job and playing a bit here and there but he did recognize how his game had fallen into place. That week, I think definitely one thing that changed completely was my ball striking. I was really hitting it good, going into the final round. Uh, in the first couple of holes, where usually I have quite a bit of nerves, I hit a couple of shots close, made the putts and got off to a flying start. In the past, usually uh, I'd start off quite slow. I'd be two, maybe three over through five holes and then I'd have to fight back. Prior to Zambia, he'd finished fourth at Kempton Park. He's got such a depth of experience on the Big Easy to know his merits. The Big Easy Tour in all is, is very important. Everybody wants a chance to play on the Big Easy Tour just to develop their game, really get some game time in, especially before Sunshine Tour events and everything. And what better way to get it on the Big Easy Tour where it's a really competitive golf. His future path is going to be changing now, but he's not one to desert what's got him to his current status. I love giving back. I love helping the other guys. That's why always being on tour, I always want to have a look at how everyone's swings look like. But I enjoy every second of it. But as for what the future holds after a maiden Sunshine Tour success, it's a land of opportunity on the horizon. Everything has changed now. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things to look at. Uh, I mean, exemption has changed and everything. Uh, to me, that's the big thing. What we all want on the Sunshine Tour is the exemption. That's, that's the big part. So now for a couple of years, I don't have to worry about pre-queuing for any of the events or anything. Uh, I can actually go to the event knowing that I'm in and really prepare for the tournament itself, not uh, prepare for pre queue first and then prepare for a tournament. Plans going ahead, I'll definitely see if I, if I can get another win or two in on the Sunshine Tour, that's, that's definitely one of the goals. And then uh, from there on, 
try to go to Asia, Europe, play a couple of events there and hopefully gain a card there later on. The 26-year-old has got a taste of the big time. He has the world in his hands and is intent on making the most of it.